I am going to explain about uh, mean value and variance for continuous random variable. How to find k and mean and variance. So first we know that uh, the mean means it is an first averaging process denoted with m or m1 is equal e of x or else denoted with uh, expectation of x is equal minus infinite to plus infinite x into f of x dx. This is uh, for continuous random variable mean named as mean or average for random variables. If it is not satisfied then they are going for that is second mean denoted with sigma x square or else it is also named as variance is equal minus infinite to plus infinite x minus m whole square into f of x dx. So after expansion we have seen that this also can be written as in the last class e of x square minus e of x whole square. Both the ways we can use this formula. So we will go with example. Anyhow uh, this is an first average and this is an second averaging process for a given random variable. For example 2 3 4 average is 2 plus 3 plus 4 by 3 is equal 9 by 3 is equal 3 is an average. This is in real numbers but in random variables they are going to calculate the average like this. Inversely they are following this format to calculate the average. So this is the first average and this then second average and we will go with one example. So a continuous random variable uh, you can see this a continuous uh, random variable. Uh, function f of x equal to x by 6x plus k then from the limits 0 to 3 then find k and mean value and variance. So I will go with uh, first uh, to calculate the f uh, k value we know that the property always uh, the maximum density function equal to 1. To find k, k is equal to how much? We know that we know that maximum density function maximum density equal to 1. According to property, maximum density is always is equal to 1. So that is equal minus infinite to plus infinite f of x, the density function dx is equal to 1. And limits already is given that that is from 0 to 3, 0 to 3. f of x value is given x by 6 plus k of dx is equal to 1. So, 1 by 6 outside and uh, x integration is x square by 2, x square by 2 of the limits are from 0 to 3 plus k outside and one integration is x of 0 to 3 is equal 1. So, now this is uh, 9 by 2, 3 square means 9 by 2 minus 0. So that is equal 1 by 6 into 9 by 2 minus 0 by something 0. So plus 3 min upper limit minus lower limit that is 3k is equal 1 3k minus 0. So this is uh, 3 by 2 3 times uh, that is 3 and 2 that is 3 by 4 3 by 4 plus 3k is equal 1. Therefore, 3k equal 1 minus 3 by 4. 4 minus 3, 1 by 4. 3k equal. And k equal 1 by 12. k equal 1 by 12. So, like this, we can calculate the k value. So, using density function, we can calculate the k value. So, k value completed, then we, go, we can go for main. So mean we know that uh, the second one according to mean formula that is mean m equal to e of x equal to uh, that is minus infinite to plus infinite x into f of x dx. So therefore we know that uh, that is the limits are from 0 to 3 already given that 0 to 3 0 to 3 and uh, x multiplied with f of x x by 6 plus k x by 6 plus yes k. So k 
of dx. So therefore that is equal x into x, x square, 1 by 6 outside, x into x, x square, x square integration is x cube by 3 of 0 to 3 plus k outside, k into x, k means that is 1 by 12, just now we found and uh, x is there, x integration is x square by 2, x square by 2 of the limits are from 0 to 3. So therefore this is equal to 1 by 6 multiplied with 3 cube, 27 by 3, 27 by 3 plus 1 by 12, x square 9 by 2, 9 by 2 minus 0 square means 0. So this is mean, this is mean. So if you want you can simplify, so therefore this is equal 9 times that is and this is 2 times and this is 3 times. So therefore this is equal 3 by 2 plus again it is uh, 3 times and this is 4 times that is 3 by 8. So 3 by 8 is equal so 8 that is 4 12 plus 1 time that is 3 15 by 8 15 by 8 4 times that is 4 into 3 12 and 1 time 1 into 3 3 12 plus 15 by 8 so this is the mean so like this we can calculate the mean and uh, coming to the variance we know that variance variance formula is variance Variance we need to calculate that is equal sigma x square is equal e of x square minus e of x whole square e of x whole square whole square so from this uh, we can calculate that e of x square means minus infinite to plus infinite x square into f of x dx you know that e of x means x into f of x dx first mean x into f of x dx but e of x square means x square into f of x dx so but already e of x already we are calculated this is equal e of x e of x so we can directly uh, substitute that value anyhow it is e of x value 15 by 8 so whole square and uh, from this uh, here x square means 0 to 3 x square multiplied with f of x means x by 6 x plus k x by 6 x plus k minus e of x whole square minus so again x into x x cube 1 by 6 outside x power 4 by 4 x cube integration plus k means that is 1 by 12 multiplied with x square integration is x cube by 3 of 0 to 3 minus 15 by 8 whole square so therefore uh, this is 0 to 3 1 by 6 multiplied with 4 81 by 4 minus 0 so that directly it is 0 plus 1 by 12 9 27 by 3 minus 0 upper law limit is 0 so 0 so I am not writing minus 15 by 8 whole square so this is an sigma x square like this we can uh, calculate the that is uh, k value and uh, mean value and variance value thank you